You're right, dear. Right, love. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Um, Tom sort of got a bit older, but um, and looking a bit worse for wear. Am I allowed to say that? A lot worse for wear. Yeah. And in black. And in black. Well, you know, I'm almost there. Yeah. You know, almost there. We are today up at Sirencester Park and uh, Tom is loitering around in the background and I'm with Richard today. Hi, yeah. Hello. And uh, today we're up here, we're just saying hello because uh, they're local to us today so I thought I'd pop up, say hello, eat their food, drink their tea and also video something that they're going to do on the caravan. Now today they're going to install a switch into their wet locker. Um, sorry, not in your wet locker at all, is it? No, the socket's in a wet locker. The switch will be inside the van. Just like that switch is in the van to switch off the wet locker so in your own words no pressure why why do you want to put a switch on the on the socket uh, it's quite simple really laziness um yeah lights and stuff up outside the van and it's just easy for the night time to switch them off from beside the bed rather than come outside simple as that now, actual fact, it's a good idea because we haven't got any of that facility either on our caravan. So when I need to switch the lights off, invariably I need to tell Tom to get up, walk outside and unplug everything. Um, and he's nodding behind the camera at the moment, so he knows that's correct. So this might be a good tip for anybody with uh, a caravan that just wants to put an isolating switch onto uh, the socket on the outside of the caravan. So let's go and have a look, see what uh, we've got. And uh, I'm going to start filming Richard cutting his caravan apart. Okay, so this is the socket on the outside of the caravan and if I just put you in here, you can see the back of the actual socket and inside the wet locker and what we're going to do is we're going to install a switch over here inside the caravan. So let's go inside now and I'll show you where it's going to be installed. Right, so here we are. We are inside the front of the caravan and what we've done here is we've just taken up the cushion and the actual slats are out of the way as well. And what Richard has already done here in preparation for me popping up today, he's gone out and he's purchased a switch like this just from B&Q, a normal chrome-faced switch to make it blend in with the rest of the caravan fittings, which is very good. Um, and just a normal backing, like so. And what he's done is he's disconnected the cable from the socket which is in the wet locker or outside the wet locker and then just put this switch in line and the task for today now is to cut a hole in the cabinet here mount the uh, switch itself perfectly and then you've got a switchable outside socket which I think is a fantastic addition to any caravan. Right then, so if you can see here are the tools that we're gonna use here. We've obviously got a drill to put some holes in, uh, in the corners, uh, a marking stick, a marking pencil, drill bit for said drill, and very simply just a saw to cut the uh, the wood. Now the wood itself is not very thick, it's actually it's a very thin plywood. It looks like a one or two ply plywood. So it's very, very thin, so it will cut remarkably easy. So the important thing here is to make sure we're using a fine um, grade um, tooth so it doesn't tear it around too much. Um, now in terms of marking out we're just going to do this with a ruler and uh, have you got a set square here at all? Oh, no. Great. Uh, we're going to use um, just a normal ruler and the square edges on the steel ruler as well just to give us some vague idea of uh, 90 degreeness. If it doesn't quite fit no fear we've got some files and we've got some sandpaper that we can use to just square it all off with. Um, Okay, so we've just gone and unplugged the electricity from outside and to make sure that nobody plugs it back in, what we're also going to do for safety sakes is we're going to isolate the van. So all Rich is doing now is just going to undo all the hard work he did yesterday so that we can take the front off the back, ready to mount it. Was that much money, that switch? Wait. Um, seven or eight quid, I think. It's a nice looking switch, isn't it? B and Q's finest. <laughs> we'll put a link to the product in the description below. Good stuff. Okay, so this is the actual mounting uh, backing, and this is what we're going to cut a hole for, so that it can actually then fit through the cabinet here, flush from the outside. Here we go. That looks. Near enough. That looks near enough, yeah? 
Yeah. Okay, so that's really good. So marked off there. What we're going to do now is Rich is going to use a 10 mil drill bit of fairly sharp persuasion, and we're going to cut inside those gaps there. That looks pretty good actually mate. Right, and uh, today is one of those occasions. What we've actually done is as we fitted the box into the hole, we actually deformed the back box a little bit, and when we tried to screw the plate onto the front, it just broke one of those little uh, spindles, uh, so we're not able to screw it on tightly enough, and so the back box is damaged. No drama though, we just need to get a replacement back box, and uh, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Uh, I say we, that's what Richard's going to do tomorrow. For the moment, you'll see that it's installed. It's just a little bit loose on that side there, but we're going to fix that one up tomorrow. Uh, but it's installed, and uh, all we need to do now is turn the electrics on and run away. Yeah. Okay, no bangs, no explosions so far. Good stuff. We'll see if it works out here. Shall we see if it works? Yes. 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 Where do you go, Trevor? You can take all the, the credit for that now because you've made it work. Well, my bit works. <laughs> I suppose it was a moderate success. I mean, it works. It works, that's the main thing. The Does hardest bit was certainly cutting out the hole. Yeah, it works, wasn't it? Yeah. The electrics I find fairly straightforward, but certainly actually physically cutting the van about is, is the worst bit. Yeah, yeah. I suppose though, if we were to be completely honest, it'd be a lot easier if we had all the tools, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, we're doing it on a campsite here with very little tools. Um, I mean, I've bought a few bits and bobs along today. Richard's got a few odds and sods, including a very old file. <sighs> My ears are still ringing from that thing. Um, and I think the truth be told, if you had the proper tools, it'd be no problems at all. Um, with the back box that, uh, that you were using, um, you know, it's quite a flimsy thing. And just where we weren't quite straight enough with the hole, it was just buckling the back box a little bit. But you know, a new back box of a couple of quid. Problem solved. Problem solved. Um, so there we go. Um, so I think if, uh, if uh, you get a new back box, that's a brilliant job, isn't it? Yep. Really? Yep. Be very, very handy. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a really good tip. So um, there we go. So I'm probably going to do the same thing, to be honest with you. I'm going to go and fit a new um, a switch for our wet locker because that's something that will come in incredibly handy. 
So uh, that's it. I think that's all we can say really about the thing. Okay. Yeah. Cheers, Dan. Thanks for your help. That's fine. Appreciate no problems. It. And uh, any questions, put them in the uh, comments below and uh, we'll sure to answer your questions for you. But from Siren Sester, I think it's a goodbye from us and it's a goodbye from him. Goodbye. It's a goodbye from us. And they have been no use at all. Let me just swing the camera around a minute and you'll see exactly what we've had to put up with. We've had been heckled something rotten. Hold on, I've looked after your dog. Yeah. My dog is your, your bloody dog. No, it's your dog. And what have you done? Uh, supervised. <laughs> project manners. Yeah, project manners. To be fair, you are feeding us, so I can't say too many bad things, can I? <laughs>